usually try nil wind launches on 14 square meter gliders, but here we go. I love those colors. Oh yeah, it's pretty cool. That's what I got. So I haven't actually done this before. So we're going to give it a try. But if I don't have enough lift, I should feel it and come to a point where I can't physically run any faster and hopefully be able to abort. Well, sometimes you do actually achieve getting in the sky but only for about a foot, and then the glider stalls, and you slide to a stop abruptly. But it's flat top. That's okay. All righty. I'm gonna aim inches to the side of that glider in front of me. than a high wind launch, or excuse me, high altitude launch. Yes, you can, even if you are 51 years old. It's all in the skill level. Five back this flight is so freaking awesome. So now we know it allows you to launch in nil wind all the way up to super high 26, almost 30 mile an hour wind. Very, very cool. So it widens the range of the conditions that you can fly in. If all you have is some big, huge, gigantic 25 square meter, well, you are severely limited in the conditions you can fly. Where if you got a 14 square meter dominator, you can fly pretty much whenever the freak you want in anything but horribly bad weather. You can even fly in bad weather, it just wouldn't be much fun. Check out Trace here, super skills, running it out, run, 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 slowly adding a touch of brake, just beautiful technique, very, very nice. You can see how super trained the skills transfer to the students, this is a fairly new student. Race. Didn't run that long ago and you just nailed it. It'll launch on the sand with an extra, extra small. Yeah. And glide ratio, baby. Look at that. No power, gliding, gliding, gliding. The thing about the Dominator is it's insanely efficient. It 
produces so much lift, that's why we can do tandem on little gliders like this. Albeit, I wouldn't try that in no wind. <laughs> tandem never was a win. produces so much lift you can still launch it in nil wind in soft sand at the beach which is one of the hardest launches ever because the soft sand makes it more difficult to run yeah, so I would rather launch at higher altitude on a hard packed ground <laughs> than in soft sand at the beach because the thinner air it's just all about how fast you can physically run. Try and run in soft sand sometime with weight on your back. A little bit easier if you have a hard surface. Flat top and Dominator, baby! Somebody's not flying a flat top. You know, straight up, they just don't understand the sport. There are literally hundreds of things about the flat top to set it apart from all other units. There is nothing else out there that a really competent pilot could fly because you can't be competent if you're flying a unit where your brake top could go right in a prop and kill you instantly. Or one trip and fall and you cut your fingers off. That's not competent, that's sheer stupidity. So you're either flying a flat top or yeah, you're around that sheer stupidity mark or you simply don't want to. Yeah, baby! Thirty 
here at 6,800 feet. Look at that, right there. How long was that? It was nothing. I'm way the freak up here, and I'm on that climate for what? 25, 30 seconds now? but it does take skill. Don't be grabbing one of these if you're a newbie. So it's age, weight, and altitude for big factors, but big tip for the day, never choose your own gear. How do you do it? I don't even charge for my advice. You get all of that experience working for you to stack all the odds of you. I don't even charge for the advice when you buy the gear for me. Very simplistic. So very, very important. Even if you've been flying for 10 years, it just makes logical sense to have the most experienced and skilled pilot helping you with gear selection because there's just so many things you haven't experienced yet that you don't know about. Where the super experienced guy, like me, I know exactly what's gonna happen to you and how to stack those odds in your favor. So you buy the gear for me and I can put all those back Yeah, baby. And that's a nil win landing on a 14 square meter dominator. Piece of cake. No problem. Hoorah! This thing's so fun! <laughs> yeah! Dominator, baby. Uh huh, uh huh. That's the shiznits. <laughs> it never gets old. That is just seriously fun. I don't care who you are. Hoorah! Boodalotti! Yay! Dude! Extra, 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 extra small! Nil win launch.